So welcome everybody to this global meditation, main focus on renewal. Uh, we've taken this opportunity to come together and to bring many of us together to use this powerful time that we're going through to really activate some very profound aspects of ourselves and our playground. So the reason we put the focus on renewal at this point in time is because right now, it is all about renewal. This whole month, the energetic focus has been on renewal. And I will go into the depth of what the renewal is uh, today, really, for before we get started on the global meditation. We have started a very powerful phase. Energetically, uh, there's so much going on right now, and many of us are feeling it on so many levels within ourselves. We may be feeling it very powerfully in our bodies. We're feeling it in our emotions. We're feeling it in our mind. And we're also experiencing some pretty in interesting experiences. And this is all part and parcel for us to even get more ready to be able to embrace this beautiful journey even more powerfully. So uh, we're at the middle of it right now. So it's going to carry on to tomorrow and, uh, of course, start phasing down on that. But we have other waves that are coming in very powerfully. Of course, we have uh, a very powerful time with the alignments and everything else that's going on. And there's many people right now you know, providing various meditations and so forth to stimulate that. The meditation we're doing today, which we're offering, is so powerfully focused to use and harness those energies, harness those codes, harness that essence within ourselves. Now, I want to make a clarification here. All of this stuff that's going on right now energetically is not there to change our life. It is to stimulate the change that we already are tuned for and to step into it. So the thing is about the whole renewal is renewing our commitment of why we even came here, why we actually stuck around at this point in time, why we wanted to be part of this transformation going on. Each one of us has come here with a very specific purpose. I know the purposes continue to expand and some parts collapse and so forth based on what we come to hear, but that pure, pure, pure fundamental aspect of this purpose of coming here at this time has been all orchestrated so that you have an offering, you have a part in all of this. Yes, there are many, many players on the planet, 7.7 .7 billion players. Each and every one holds a sp certain space. Each one creates a certain environment. However, many of us have been drawn very powerfully to be very instrumental in this beautiful transformation that we're choosing and have chosen and to participate together to do so. So this renewal is the renewal of what we came here to do. It's a renewal of that excitement, that really that powerful drive that we have within ourselves to be actively part of this this transformation that we're doing and it's a human transformation and it's a planetary transformation but it starts with us so it's really getting that zest that exuberance that excitement within ourselves now what the renewal provides the renewal provides us the opportunity to bring that new aspect of ourselves and we are new aspects of ourselves as we go along in each minute we're always upgrading and shifting to align with not only the energies but our purpose our energies of being a participant here and a contributor here and very instrumental being here on this playground right now so as we're going through that renewal aspect, that new version of ourselves, it will stimulate a letting go, a dying off a, of, of releasing or letting go all these other facets of ourselves that we have taken on in different stages in our life. And of course, I've said it many times in the, in the uh, Advancing Consciousness series and so forth and other 
things that I've shared with you guys that have been involved in following the work that's been shared, that, you know, we've made no mistakes. We've made no poor choices. We've made choices that were aligned at those times. And we adopted certain phases of ourselves. Now, the, the, t the transformation that's taking place is not only letting go all of those things that we don't have to carry on, uh, meaning those other aspects of ourselves, other engagements, other energetic plays that we've had, certain life streams we've taken on, but it's also a lot of letting go of these fas facades of ourselves, the, the super laid uh, projections of ourselves. And a lot of us has used it for coping mechanism to feel somewhat part of the dance when those dances were happening in those specific times. I know there's a lot of reflection of those older versions around us that stimulate that still that polarity and whatever else, but we're letting that part kind of just be the dance as it transmutes and has it transforms as it actually clears out because it's no longer supply uh, supported but we're also being part and powerfully here present at this time bringing the newest version of ourselves and letting go all of those parts so sometimes it's also referred as a dying a dying of an older you and and this doesn't even just stop in the mind aspect of the projection. It, it's also occurring in our physical aspects of our bodies because our bodies are being reignited, retuned, reactivated, and renewed, basically, renewed with the new frequencies that we brought in originally and we also brought in from other dimensional aspects of ourselves. But the old vibrations, the old way of the cells communicating, the way that it would store not only energy, but thought forms and automatic responses, but also the emotional component is actually going through a renewal process. It's also changing in a very powerful way. So now we are in this landscape, this playground, with this beautiful, powerful, physical aspect of ourselves that we are projecting in a holographic uh, spectrum of light. And here we are, and we are choosing right now to renew every facet of this game. Because we understand, many of us that have been following this work and so forth and have gotten that deep understanding because it's actually triggering and, re and reactivating that memory that you have with yourself. Because you already know a lot of what we're playing with. You knew it, but it became dormant. It became dormant uh, through a necessity at that point in time to be able to experience the human experience. But a necessity in a way of coping, in the way of actually be able to be part of the changes and the things that were happening through those aspects of the stages from the today beyond and back, right? So even that, that part of us, you know, even though you have to understand our universe, our galaxy, our solar system, our planet, and even our true nature does not hold on to any experience. It only uses the parts of that experience that is so powerfully influential in really having ourselves to uh, access a further level of enlightenment within ourselves. So, but the thing is the true nature of our design and the landscape and playground that we're in and all the levels that go beyond that is to just have those experiences, utilize whatever is there, and the rest of it just kind of dissolves. And many of us are experiencing memory loss and so forth, and that is kind of a part where it's actually indicating that we need to let go of those old memories. And when I'm talking about the memories, I'm talking about the emotional charges applied to it, the definitions applied to it, and the labels, labeling of those experiences. Because an experience is an experience, and we all become enriched in one way or another. And it doesn't matter if you say, well, it's been a negative experience. Well, that's still a label. That's still a definition. But, you know, we understand that those experiences somehow, in one way or another, enriched us. And even it gave us the opportunity to experience a phase. Even though that phase was 10,000 years long, that phase of experience that was not even capable to be experienced or even to be played out in or to be engaged in that dynamics 
unless we really, uh, you know, got into the part of playing that part. So this is what we're doing right now. We're renewing the very core activational aspect of ourselves, the true design, the true blueprint, sometimes people call it. But that blueprint is an upgraded version of the blueprint. W you know, we're even though we go back to our original design from, from 15,000 years ago and that has been experienced and has a track record for the 5,000 years that we went down that journey, that we are actually right now bringing that newer version, which already is it within us and has been with us. Because you have to understand, Gaia stored that within its memory banks and has been actually transmitting that part for a while now. But we are that extension. On the physical aspect, we are that extension of Gaia. So that has been playing out within ourselves. Our innate consciousness of the physicality has been tuned and upgraded along the way through the this, this support and assistance of Gaia. But not only the assistance of Gaia, but every sentient being that's been on the planet and is on the planet, and also all the beautiful brothers, sister souls that have come and gone at different times, that is all being offered. That's a part of it. But then it's also our human entity, the, the soul aspect of the human experience. That is part and parcel also as part of that upgrade. And that upgrade has a whole history, the first 5,000 years and the following 10,000 years, and now is also using the maximum amount of accessibility that it has from all of those experiences, from the multiple, multiple incarnational experience and collectively incarnational experience. And then, of course, the soul itself, it, you know, each, look at it this way, your soul has been embodying this physicality and other physicalities on other dimensions and so forth for a long time. There's very few that are really new, new, but the majority have been coming and going. But now it's not only the coming and going. We are also leaving our physicality and going, the soul is leaving the physicality during the sleep time and certain phases of the daytime going to get its upgrade. Also re-stimulating, reactivating those parts of ourselves that have been very instrumental in a very powerful way to prepare for what we're doing now. And each one of us are doing that, and each one are getting encoded in a very specific way. So Gaia itself, you know, is supporting us. Our solar system is supporting us. Our, all our aspects of ourselves are supporting us, you know, going into the galaxy and also at the same time into the universe. But we, as individual sparks of sourceness, individual sparks of this sourceness is a complete source anyways with a very specific signature that is also, also bringing all of this in. So now, we're going to engage in a collective global meditation to stimulate, activate all aspects of this renewal. So the renewal within you, the renewal globally, okay? So the renewal is a beautiful renewal of that original aspects of why we're here, why we're doing what we're doing, and why we're even enjoying this ride and being part of this ride. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to get started in about two minutes. We're just going to get set up. So what I, I would suggest for you at this point in time is get yourself in a comfortable position, a position which will not put any stress and strain on your body so that you are not going to be distracted in that way. And if you can find a place where it's a little quieter, that'd be great. Um, and the other part of it is if you have any form of headsets or something of that nature, especially the ones that cover your ears, then you would be able to have not only the distraction, but you can feel all aspects of what is being done. Now, there's two parts to this. We're going to have some background music, gentle music to kind of hold the space and this high vibration music that was done uh, by Marco Missanato. And he has played a very powerful role to contribute in the sense of creating music that creates a very support. But then the other part is that we are now connecting our energies and I will guide you. This is a guided meditation, but the guided meditation does not disempower you in any way. It's because we're just kind of keeping that 
on track component, but each one of us will have our own individualized specific uh, experience, but then we're connecting with everyone on the planet right now that are open for this, that are either present right now or are going to re-listen to the recordings. Our intent is to have this version and we'll also create or provide a version that may not have the music if you choose not to use the music. But this version that we're live streaming will have the background music that you could utilize uh, just to kind of hold the energy for you. But allow yourself to get comfortable and we're going to get started. All right, in your comfortable position, just gently close your eyes and let's spend a few seconds with your eyes closed and just feeling yourself present without the distractions of our surroundings and to be able to just kind of be present with our eyes closed. And as you are there, just relaxing at this point in time, we're going to gently shift our attention into our breath. And we're going to utilize the breath to bring us into a deep, relaxed, peaceful state to access that level of ourselves that are ready to participate in a very powerful way. So as we focus on the breath, let's utilize the breath. We're going to take some deep breath, but the, the depth of the breath will not create any strain. So we're not going to strain ourselves. We're not going to force the breath. We're going to be present with the movement of the breath. So it's going to be semi-deep without any stress and strain. And we will exhale in the same fashion where we are not to strain ourselves, but as we breathe out, we are allowing ourselves to really let go or breathe out that energy or the breath itself and the energy is attached to that we're also going to allow each time we exhale to go into not only a deeper state but also more relaxed in our body so should we feel any tension or tightness in our body we're going to allow that as we breathe it out to be we let go throughout the body and we're letting it go from e from head to toe we're letting go of any strain and stress of any sort that we may be feeling should you have some discomfort or what we can call pain just allow it to be there just if you're going to focus on its presence just see it there with love so let's put our attention on the breath and we're going to utilize the breath as a beautiful, not only a reminder, but a powerful vehicle to put us into a deep, relaxed state, establishing a beautiful movement and rhythm as we breathe in and out. 
And each time we exhale, feeling more and more relaxed, going into a deeper state of accessing a higher frequency of ourselves, but going into a brain activity that is lower in the sense, giving us going into a deeper, sort of altered meditative state. So as we focus on the breath and continue to focus on the breath, beautiful rhythm of the breath and each time we breathe in and out going deeper and deeper into a relaxed alternate state and as we continue to breathe we are further and further connecting with ourselves to this moment because right now all that exists is only this moment this moment is our most powerful state. This moment is in the most receptive state to access all the powerful frequencies that are being offered. Energetic encodements and also giving us the opportunity to be in our most current state. And as we continue to breathe, being in this moment, all phases, states, memories, emotional charges that are related to the old version of ourselves, to the past in any way, shape, or form, we're just allowing to dissolve into the field. We are surrounded by a powerful energetic field of sourceness. This is the very source essence that is our makeup. It does not matter if we have a very specific frequency within this field. We are the field. We are part of the field and we are that field. As we allow ourselves to go into that deeper state, we're feeling ourselves in a beautiful alignment with the dance and the energies moving through us. As we connect with each and every aspect of ourselves that is localized throughout the planet at this time, that is choosing to participate and the ones that are choosing to participate later, each one of us are powerfully contributing a very specific frequency but each one of us is also a very powerful conduit, utilizing the energies, the frequencies that are being offered, merging with those frequencies and vibration and our signature codes, which has a very specific offering on this beautiful dynamics that we are creating right now and moving forward. As these frequencies are coming and moving through us, we're bringing in beautiful, powerful, supportive column of energy through our galaxy, which is an offering from all the beautiful contributors and planetary frequencies that are being offered in each of the solar systems connected to ours that is now streaming a beautiful, powerful column that is an enveloping, wrapping and completely illuminating our whole planet wherever we're located we're completely merged completely blending in this energy and we're also having the offering of our sun that is very specific to us right now this sun frequency this sun encodements that sun spectrum of light is totally supporting us right now for what we are doing and will continue to doing as we move forward and that is streaming through us illuminating the whole planet it doesn't matter if it's nighttime or not it is illuminating the whole planet carrying that beautiful powerful spectrum of light 
that is illuminating and stimulating that beautiful beam of light within ourselves that is localized, very powerful in your heart with a matching powerful spectrum from your solar plexus. But we also have an equal spectrum of light from our whole body that is an offering not only from Gaia, but every aspect of ourselves. As we are in the field right now, we're utilizing also the energies, frequencies, encodements, and the spectrum of light that is being offered as the blanket aspect of sourceness that we are. We are not waiting for anyone. We are that that makes up all existence. We stimulate every aspect of our projection and attention to the reality, to the knowing, to the accessibility that we are all existence. We are source. We are the creator and the experiencing of our own creation, which is the makeup of ourselves on many, many levels. And that is so. As we are in this beautiful dance that's occurring right now, we're allowing these energies and our intention for as we are these powerful creators, our intention to let go, clear out, purge all of the versions of ourselves that we have taken on in different stages of our lives and in the different engagements and dances we participated along our lives. All the levels of polarity, all the levels of separation that we've engaged in, all the spectrums of light and dark that we have taken, we are purging. We are also purging within us all the programming that we have adopted, utilized, and brought in as part of our experience through the different stages. We're choosing right now to hold the most current frequency, spectrums of light, encodements, and energy that is the most current version of ourselves. This is what we have chosen to participate. But we are also doing this together with each and every aspect of ourselves participating now and will be participating later. We're also connecting with all the other beautiful souls that are participating in other meditations at this time and different meditations. But utilizing what they're activating to the degree that serves us at this point. For we are doing something very powerfully specific at this point. We utilize every aspect of what is the offering, but this offering is our own offering. We are also creating a joint effort to align and reactivate all of our chakras in this most purest form, restoring correct direction and speed to utilize all aspects of it in more a powerful way for its original design. We realize eventually they will not be required, but until they're no longer required, we're going to use its exact purpose and its exact design to facilitate our journey. We're also stimulating 
the clearing out of old encodements, old patterns, old frequency and levels of communication to all of our cells. Each cell is a spectrum of sourceness. Each cell is the full makeup of all existence. They have encoded themselves to support you on this journey, but we're stimulating those higher tones, those higher aspects to really facilitate us to become more of what we have agreed to do so at this time. We also agree right now, collectively, to shift our attention to all aspects of ourselves and away from the power we have provided, the focus and the utilization of the Eagle software program that has been instrumental in our journey over the last 10,000 years while we have chosen to play in those realms. Play and support us in that world of separation. To play us and to support us in polarization. And to support us in a complete unconsciousness of who we are and why we have been here. and also all its capacities of all the story making that has utilized and we have utilized and we have danced up to this point in time. We're shifting away from that focus, relieving the utilization of our ego and becoming inclusive, holistic within ourselves, utilizing the consciousness of our body and its innate capacities that are extended to Gaia's capacities. Our human entity's capacity in sharing, our soul's capacity in sharing, and our mind's powerful accessibility that puts everything together in the experiencing of ourselves in all these spectrums. And so it is. I will make the following statements that you will repeat either out loud to yourself if you have the environment to do so or loudly within yourself to further activate not only the statements of what it is there to provide you. We are not doing this separately we are doing this together but each one of us are the activators each one of us are the empowered being to do so the following statements are yours to repeat as it resonates for you i choose to fully activate to the fullest degree my self-empowered state that encompasses all existence which utilizes all existence as an empowered being I reactivate within myself my fuller capacity of my sourceness as my creator essence that I am.
I choose to activate within myself the renewal process. which involves my renewal of my creator aspect. My renewal and soul commitment of my purpose in the most upgraded state. I allow stimulate activate the renewal of myself, the renewal of my playground, my renewal of the dance of all playmates that I have chosen to engage with and to play with. I choose and activate my own guidance system. to be able to discern with absolute clarity moving forward from this moment on where I put my focus how I choose to navigate in who I engage with what role I choose to play without any attachment I realize that I am one with all. I realize as one we all are instrumental similar to the cells in our body. which is the micro of the macro. I choose to be the most current version of myself from this moment on. I renew my true nature of excitement, of playfulness, 
of appreciation of being here and playing a very specific role and contribution. I understand that I am source. The essence of all existence. I also acknowledge that the role, the spectrum of frequency, and everything that I engage with is enhancing sourceness. which I am part of and all of its existence. I renew my knowing, my energy, of that desire, the passion of being here, playing here, and experiencing further enlightenment and expansion of my sourceness We choose to be fully present and open as you make the following statements. I allow all the beautiful frequencies, spectrums of light, code offerings from the different dimensions from Gaia from the inner earth crystal from our sun and all the beautiful alignments to move through me for my own personal utilization to play a more powerful role on this beautiful playground while we transmute, transform, and upgrade 
our human experience. Planetary slash playground. So let's be present with all that's moving through us right now. We are only allowing what is most supportive. Any remaining part that is not supportive, we now allow and you can reinforce this by making the following statement. I allow all that does not serve me, does not serve the collective, that may create any impediments, I purge, clear, and place with great love into the field of sourceness, restoring all of it to its natural state, which is just pure source essence. as you make the following statements. I acknowledge this dance of life. I acknowledge every choice, every unfoldment, every focal point that has been part of my experience. I appreciate my creation, my co-creation, my dance, my role through all the different stages. Through all the different engagements. I now see all creation all experiences that I was involved in. Was absolute perfection. Tuned for various experiences. Tuned for various engagements. tuned to various agreements. I realized I did not come here as an isolation of projection. I came here as an inclusive Realizing any and all progress made was to be done including 
all aspects of self. Every aspect of our projection as we refer to as other people and other sentient beings. I not only have great appreciation, I have profound love from the very core of my beingness for all facets of experiences. I also realize that we are upgrading and transforming therefore I step into full allowance of clearing out every part, every creation that is no longer required. And that is so. What we are experiencing right now is also the renewal of love. The renewal of source love which supersedes unconditional love It is pure source love, ultimate love, creator love. And what has been called as Christ consciousness is the realization that we are this love. We are the very energy of all existence. The, we are the very representation within all existence. We are renewing the profound love of the dance of this beautiful life. and the renewal of the knowing and accessing oneness to the level that is to be experienced in this form on this playground we call Earth. in oneness which is part of Christ consciousness we see no separation we see that inclusiveness
as we are in this beautiful, powerful state, allowing these energies to move and dance through us, stimulating that very core essence of excitement and playfulness prior to taking on this form. Seeing yourself more than this form. Seeing yourself not only as source, but also multidimensional expressions within that sourceness. Which makes this beautiful dance even more profound. We are all connected right now, not to take out any individualization of ourselves, but to combine the offerings, to combine the frequency, to create a powerful energetic field of consciousness, awareness, of renewal, but of our sourceness that is being transmitted and beamed through every ley line, beamed throughout the whole environment, wrapping the whole planet. with our essence, which reinforces, stimulates, recharges each one of us, and recharges all of our playmates on the planet. Every single representation is now being stimulated And as this is taking place, we are purging more unconsciousness from our planetary scape. We're purging more of the polarized focus, so-called darker, lower energies. Stimulating the fuller spectrum of that light, that consciousness. As we participate in increasing the vibration of the planet, older creations collectively projected start to be purged into the field and restored back to pure spectrum sourceness. The collective polarity and focus on negativity of unconsciousness, of what we call draconian states, are also now being stimulated to be purged. All the creations based on anything that is not serving any longer is now also being purged globally. We are all illumination of our sourceness. Each one of us are carrying a very specific 
spectrum of light and consciousness. When combined as we are doing now, it is a powerful energetic spectrum force energy to really stimulate even further the transformation we are going through. The stimulation of obsolescence to be able to purge even more effectively. We stimulate, activate within ourselves a more powerful, profound, empowered state. No longer seeing outside of ourselves. Seeing fully ourselves as part of all existence, but also as a powerful creator redesigning every aspect of our human and planetary experience. And this is not difficult since we are just a beautiful, powerful spectrum of holographic representation. Which can easily shift. And we are reactivating and renewing our capacity to do so now. And let's all of us activate within ourselves that brilliant light that we are to illuminate all existence on this playground. As we become powerful beams of light emanating in all directions, This light is not only source, but very specific in its source frequency. It's your offering to this dance. We're dissolving and illuminating all levels of unconsciousness and darkness that is ready to be cleared out now. And we instruct all role players that have maintained, supported, stimulated the polarity and the focus in the lower frequency 
that they are no longer required to be able to play out that role, to hold that energy. And we all instruct all our extras that are on this playground to allow themselves also to upgrade and to support this dance away from the polarized part, the separation and all of that associated with it. We are collaborating in a much more powerful way than before. And that is so. What we have started will continue, will continue to increase in its capacity, not only within ourselves, but globally. Each time we repeat this powerful process that we have done, we reinforce it even further within ourselves and globally with all aspects of ourself. So we make the following statement. I choose no longer to step back into complete unconsciousness. To step back completely in polarization. And step back in separation. I choose from this moment on to not only utilize my consciousness, my essence, I choose to increase it moment by moment. And that is so. Let's put our attention back onto the breath. As we focus on the breath, be present with the breath in your renewed state. Feeling that renewal, feeling that reactivation, feeling that version of you that just has chosen to expand and be more contributive to the expansion of this playground. being fully present with the breath and feeling that beautiful movement of the breath, stimulating, activating that rhythm of the breath as a rhythm of life. We take in our environment, our experience, utilize it, expand ourselves further due to it, and then we clear, we release it, we share it, we let it free. The breath is not to be held. Life is not to be held. Life is to be fluid, movement, experientially enriched and upgraded each step of the way. Every breath we take is new. Every experience we have is new. Each offering we provide is new. And that is so. As we focus on the breath, each of the following breaths will bring us more and more present in our prayer, in our experience, in our present moment.
in our environment, in our reality. In that new and renewed sense of being. We're going to utilize the next five breaths bring us more and more conscious and aware of our surroundings and reality. After you have completed your fifth complete breath, you will gently open your eyes. You will be wide awake, fully present in your reality, open to see your reality through your new eyes renewed eyes, renew way of seeing. Feeling excited, playful, feeling the zest of life. Feeling completely that beautiful expression that you are. And when comfortable for you, gently open your eyes and to be fully present with us. I thank you for this beautiful, powerful co-creation, for our, all our beautiful roles that we've played and all that we will do moving forward. So thank you.